Hello and welcome to Keep Me Posted with Planet Aid. My name is Monica Johnson and today we're going to be talking to a company that's really doing some really great and big things in sustainable um, in the sustainability field. And we're going to be talking to one of the owners of the brand, Yala, Tiff Zahara. Tiff, thank you so much for coming and joining us today. Yeah, nice to be here. <laughs> All right. Well, Tiff, tell me a little bit about the brand Yala. That you all have kind of made a decision that you wanted to go about retail in a different way, um, in, in a sustainable way. So tell me a little bit about that and tell me a little bit also about how you um, began with Yala as well. Okay. So um, Yala has been selling sustainable bamboo products since 2006. Um, uh, Rachel, my business partner, and I um, started, both of us actually started in customer service <laughs> and worked our way up through the company, um, and now we own it. Wow. Um, uh, so we're a woman-owned, woman-led company, and um, we really got a lot of support um, in our state from that, so that was um, uh it was an amazing kind of thing to have happen. And so we've been really grateful for the opportunity. And one of the really big things when her and I took over was that we really wanted to um, uh, really stress and push the sustainable um, parts of our company and, and become more sustainable in places where uh, people don't normally think about sustainability. So, um, I, I really feel that sustainability is something that you're always working towards, you know, the sort of the destination of where it is always changes. So, you know, it's like we keep trying every day um, to do our work better. Um, uh, we own a small factory in China that works just for us. Um, we have about 30 to 40 sewers at any given time and um, so it's really easy for us to manage our production in a sustainable way, manage our footprint. Um, for us, it's the amount of time uh, and resources we use to get the product to market. Um, uh, the other part of sustainability is, you know, how are we um, integrating in our community? How are we treating our employees here as well as our employees um, in China? And what are all the things we can keep doing to make it make ourselves more sustainable and tell me a little bit about the process now you again you said that you work with bamboo for mm -hmm. clothing and that to me when i read about that i was like do people use bamboo for clothing <laughs> and so you know that in itself was something that was like tell me why why would why would you use bamboo for clothing and and what is the benefit of that well, um, what's really interesting about our bamboo clothing is that it actually comes, if you've ever seen the movie Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, mm -hmm. um, the bamboo for our products actually come from that forest in China. Wow. The, um, it's uh, the Shunan um, bamboo forest, and they, it has to be sustainably cut and harvested um, every year because a bamboo has a five-year lifespan. And, um, and as it as it grows, new shoots come up. And so they, they take the old ones out, they um, sustainably harvest the old shoots out so that the forest can stay active and healthy. Uh, but one of the amazing properties starting at that point is that bamboo does not need any additional water to grow, just the rainfall that it gets naturally. It's naturally antimicrobial as a plant, so um, it doesn't get fungus or pest need pesticides to keep pests away. Um, the other thing it does is for the communities in Sichuan, where the Shunam forest is, it protects their villages from um, landslides. And so um, it's just kind of an amazing plant. And uh, along the way, they discovered that it could be used to make a viscose. Um, there's a lot of fabrics on the market right now that um, get turned into viscose fabric, um, and those are made also using this viscose process into a fabric. And so um, from the forest, once it's harvested, the bamboo gets chipped, and then it goes to a factory where it's turned into a pulp, and um, 
it's it needs to uh, chemicals to be spun into a fiber and it also uses water. And so they've developed a factory process um, called a closed loop system that continues to recycle the chemicals and recycle the water used in the process to make the fiber. And at the end of the process, there's no chemicals left in the fabric. So it also, um, you end up with a very hypoallergenic fabric. So it's really good for people that have skin sensitivities as well. So you end up with a really soft, really hyper, hyper a uh, hypoallergenic fabric that um, retains some of the properties of the original plant. So um, because bamboo has naturally antimicrobial pro uh, properties, it, uh, when you're wearing the fabric, it doesn't keep your smell. So you can, if you're traveling, you can yeah. hang out with your item and the next day it won't smell like you. <laughs> you it's just, it's really bacteria. You can, you can use it over and over again is what you're saying. Yeah. Um, it's a great fabric um, for those kinds of things. It wicks away moisture, mm -hmm. so it sleeps hot or um, just gets hot. You know, it's great fabric for summer when it's humid in places that are humid because it wicks the moisture away from your body and helps you to feel cooler. At the same time, is it's extraordinarily soft. Okay, so you were saying about the um, the the closed loop process. Yes, it's been being used, they, they kind of developed in the late 90s, early 2000s. Mm -hmm. uh, um, traditional rayon, if you've probably heard of that before, uh, can't, and polyester was with the process using plastics. Mm -hmm. So they thought, okay, how can we use more natural fibers using this process? Because ultimately in the long run, the recycling of the chemicals in the apparel process is much better for the environment. And it, it's really not possible for them to create the fabrics without using these chemicals. Even cotton going into production has to use sodium hydroxide right. to um, soften the fibers. So it's kind of at this point in the apparel industry, they haven't found a way to create soft fabrics without using some of these chemicals. And so the closed loop process really is providing a way to um, still be able to do this, but in a sustainable way.